Hello everyone. This video teaches you how to get started using Exposure as a plugin for Adobe Photoshop. You can also use Exposure as a standalone image editor or as a plugin to Lightroom Classic. Visit our website for tutorials about getting started with those workflows. With Photoshop launch and with a photo open and selected in the layer panel, launch Exposure from the filter menu. It will be listed under Exposure Software. Exposure opens to its main window. On the left side are the presets. This is where to browse Exposure's library of creative looks. The presets are organized into folders. You'll find color and black and white films, focus effects, faded looks, and more. Portraits usually benefit from a preset with lower contrast. The color films print low contrast category is a great place to look. There are a number of subtle color effects that make skin look smooth and healthy. The small thumbnails display that effect applied to your image. As the cursor moves over each thumbnail, the large preview image in the center updates so you can see the effect at full size. Click to select a preset. And to compare the edits with the original, hold down the backslash key. Now that we've chosen a preset, we can make some refinements using the sliders on the editing panels. I'll start with the basic panel, which has controls for adjustments like exposure and saturation. Great way to get through essential edits is to use the auto button. This applies a number of intelligent adjustments to the image, which can easily be customized. Exposure's histogram helps you avoid clipping in either the shadows or highlights. You can drag regions in the histogram to adjust the tones in your image directly. The zones in the histogram correlate with the sliders on the basic panel. Exposure's presets are great for achieving more dramatic effects, like converting to black and white. Hover over a few options in the presets panel for a quick comparison. This makes it easy to select a preset that enhances the photo. Once applied, if the effect is too strong, simply adjust the overall intensity to dial it back. This controls how the effect is blended with the original image. For black and white images, Exposure can adjust the overall blend on either a color or black and white base image. Exposure features a brush tool and a spot heal tool for photo retouching. The brush is a quick way to control layer masks in Exposure. There are more advanced controls such as gradients for smooth natural fades and the color constraints which define a selection based off of the hue, saturation, and luminance values in the image. Learn more about using layers in Exposure in our non-destructive layers video. To undo an edit or to see a record of all the creative edits applied to this shot, expand the history panel. Displayed here are the exact values for each adjustment. Now that we've finished editing our image, click Apply. Back in Photoshop, notice that Exposure has created a new layer with the edited image. You can adjust the opacity of the new layer to blend it with the original. Or you can try a different effect by selecting the original layer and then running Exposure again. If you're integrating Exposure into Photoshop Batch Actions, make sure to turn that off. Photoshop's Smart Layers are another non-destructive option when using Exposure. After applying an effect, just double-click the Smart Layer to launch Exposure and adjust the look. Exposure's standalone workflow supports editing Photoshop PSD files. If you have extensive retouching, special effects, or a long-proven workflow you've developed over years in Photoshop, but you still want to apply finishing touches or color grading to your retouched work, that is another non-destructive workflow option. And that completes this getting started lesson on using Exposure from Photoshop. If you don't already own Exposure but you'd like to try it in your workflow, head over to our website and download the free trial. Check it out at exposure.software. Thanks for watching this video. For more tutorials and updates about our latest video content, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We'll see you next time.